Good morning. I'm here to show a special slideshow all about the ocean. It's kind of like a book with videos. Today we read our story in the ocean. And I wanted to practice some more animals that live in the ocean. So come with me. We're going to dive into the ocean water and learn all about it. Okay. So we're waiting, we're waiting. Here we go. This is our story. It's called In the Ocean. Who do you see? Oh, let's find out. Oh, what is it? I see a shark. Let's go back. Whoa. You watch the video. Let's let's watch this video. We're waiting. Here we go. Let's they glide through the water with unmistakable grace. Remnants of an ancient past, they dive and they rise wow, from the ocean's murky depths picture. to its sun-kissed shallows, Hammerhead. rousing fear and awe wow. like no other creature in the sea. Look at that. The world's biggest living fish is a shark. Did you know that? Of the estimated 30 I see a shark. Ooh, that was cool. What's next? Who do you see? Oh, anyone know what it is? Let's push play and find out. I see an octopus. Here he is. He has a very large head and he has his arms with tentacles. Good job, guys. What? What's happening? The shark and the octopus are eating pizza? Is that right? Who? Do you see? Let's find out. Who is it? No, it's more amazing. Animals, not simply one. The amazing, almost of the death of the waters of our magnificent planet is mighty and telling mouse who have eaten the brains of our traveling little groups called pods. Did you say I got my broken dude? Get out of the chicken. I'm very sorry. Bottle and dolphins communicate with a complex system of squeaks, whistles, and clicks. We use a kind of underwater radar to find fish. They also use their heads to watch teeth, pushing their prey up on the shore for easy sushi to go. They're also fast, reaching speeds of over 18 miles per hour. They have excellent vision, which is just perfect for doing this. Whoa, look at us, dude. Yeah, radical. Strangely, these ma- Wow, I see a dolphin. That was fun. What? The octopus, the shark, and the dolphin are playing soccer? Is that right? Who do you see? Let's find out. And now it's time for some more amazing animals. Number three, the amazing seahorse. Of all the Earth's creatures, the seahorse has to be one of the most magical and beautiful. Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> Let's not get too excited. Seahorses are actually quite slow. Huh. Well, excuse me. I studied at Ridingdale High. <laughs> no! I mean, they only have a top speed of about five feet per hour. They move themselves about by using small fins on their backs and on the back of their heads. These fish get their name from the ancient Greeks. Hippo, Campus. Hippo equals horse. Campus equals sea monster. 
You can find them in lots of places where the seawater is warm all around the world. Seahorses are among the only species on Earth where the male actually gives birth. Sometimes up to 1,500 babies. <laughs> Quiet! But please don't confuse them with a rocking horse. Hey, who says I don't like to rock? Oh, yeah! The seahorse. That was silly. I see a seahorse. Oh, there it is. Wait, the dolphin, the shark, the octopus, and the seahorse are playing together at a playground? Is that right? I hope you had fun today learning a little bit about animals. Oh, we did it! In the ocean. That was really, really fun. I'm going to put a link to this spread, this slideshow, so that if you want to go back and watch all the videos from the beginning to the end, you can. It will also be in Google Classroom. So enjoy. Maybe you can write a story today about a seahorse or a shark or an octopus. Something to think about. Have a good day.